everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'll be showing you how to use Microsoft Word and I'll go over the basic features that are needed to be able to use Word. Please remember that Word is not a free software and can cost either $149 one time for the basic version of Microsoft Office which includes Word, PowerPoint, and Excel or Office 365 which is either $70 or $100 a year. I'll be using Word 2016 which is the latest version as of the time I'm recording this video. However, when you're watching, a newer version may have been released. Either way, the basics are still the same, so let's get started. First thing you're going to do is open up Word. And once it starts, you're going to see something like this. So on the left are your recent documents, and then in the main panel are multiple templates for your document. These are pretty straightforward, and once you learn the basics, you can apply them to these templates. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and open a blank document. So here is the environment in which you'll be spending the most time. On the top here is what is called a ribbon, and this has a lot of settings to edit your pictures and images. On the top here are multiple menus. When you click on a menu, you'll get even more settings that are related to the menu name. So we're going to start off on the ribbon, which you will definitely be using a lot. Then we'll go over to the answer and design tabs, which are probably the two menus that you, you'll m use most often. As for the rest of them, I'll briefly go over them, however, you'll most likely not find yourself using them. In my many years of using Microsoft Word, I have probably only used some of these only once or twice. So as I said before, the ribbon is a very, very important area. I'm going to first show you how to cut, copy, and paste text. So say I have this text, Simplex, and I want to copy it. I can click on this copy button up here, and that's just going to make a copy, and if I click paste, it's going to paste the same thing again. But let's say I, I want to cut it, I don't want to copy it, I want to take this out and move it to somewhere else. So I can click on cut, and it's going to get rid of that, and I can paste it, and it's going to bring it back. So if I cut all of this, and move down to here, and paste, it's going to have the same text that was up here moved down here. You can also use a keyboard shortcut. You can use Control X to cut, Control V to paste, or Control C to copy. Or you can right click, click on cut, copy, or paste. Next we're going to go over this section which is about fonts. So this is very very important. So if you want to change the style of your text, you're going to use this area right here. So let's just say, this is my text. Now, the first thing is, this may look a bit boring, so let's change the font. So if we click on this little arrow here, it says, right now it's Calibri body, but if I click on this arrow, I have lots and lots of options. So let's just say I like this one, brush script M7. So now this is my text, and it's in a different font. But you can see it's a little bit hard to read, it's a bit small. So you can see here, it says 11. That stands for the font size. So if I click on this arrow, I can make it even bigger. So let's say 36, 48, or even 72. If I click on 72, now my text is huge. But another alternative is instead of using this here, you can just highlight your text. Now you can also use this increase font size and decrease font size to make it smaller or make it bigger. Now there's even more effects on the bottom. So you can make it bold. You can see it kind of got, kind of, the, the brush got more thicker. Or you can make it italic. Italic doesn't really apply to this font because this font is already kind of slanted. But if I change the font, it will, see, it'll kind of slant to the right a bit. You can also underline it. And you can change the options of your underline. So strike through, it kind of basically just puts a line through your text. So if you're trying to write like a joke or something, you can use the strike through. And another thing, you may not be using this as much, but I'm just going to go over it since we're doing it. There's subscript and superscript, which is basically subscript goes below and superscript goes on top. So if I click on this X and then a kind of 2 on the bottom, it's going to let me do a subscript. Or if I want to do superscript, it's going to let me do something on the top. Now I have three more options here. One is shadow. So there's some pretty cool shadow effects that you can add to your text. I'm, I uh, encourage you to explore all of these um, all of these effects. You can also highlight your text, so you can change the color here. So let's say you want to change the color of your text, you can click on this button to make it red, or you can open and make even more options here. 
you can even click on even more and have you have this palette here. So that's it for font, let's move on to formatting. So we have bulleted lists, so this basically makes like a bullet list, and every time you click enter it makes a new bullet. If you click tab, it makes kind of a bullet inside of the bullet, and you can keep going in as much as you would like. And you can also do um, numbered list, so if I go back, you can I click on this one, two, three. And in case you're not sure, the way I go back is I click the backspace button on the keyboard. So I have this one, you can type some text, two, three, and then if you click on tab, you will get A, and then B, and then C, and etc. And there's also uh, this here, this um, alignment. So if I make it a bit smaller so you can actually see, you can see right now it's on the side, but see I want the text to be in the middle. Click on this, and it's centered. You can make it on the right, left, and stuff like that. I can also shade the background. This is pretty similar to highlighting, except it doesn't just do the text. It does the entire kind of uh, back of that uh, row. So if I want to make it orange, you can see it makes the entire thing orange. But if I want to just highlight it, the highlighting just does it over the text. As for the rest of this here, I don't usually use this, so I'm not going to go over it. Um, I don't really think it's very useful. Um, in And I've been using Word for a long time, and I have very rarely used this, maybe once or twice. So I'm going to move on to the Insert tab. So in the Insert tab is very, very important. In the Insert tab, you can do things like create a table, pictures, uh, shapes, and text box equations. In the Insert tab, you basically just uh, insert things. So the first thing I can do is make a table. So I can hover my mouse to make it however many columns and rows I would like. And once I click, it creates the table for me. I can type in each of the cells. Although, if you want a better thing to make tables, I would recommend you use Microsoft Excel, which I will go over in another video. So the next thing is pictures. So there's like a, so there's a lot of options to do pictures. You can either click on this and insert a file. So let's say I like this and I want to insert it. Or you could go to the internet and type in pictures and you'll get a lot of pictures. You can uh, click on it, download it, save image as. And that's how I got the image that I just put in earlier by downloading it. So this was downloaded before. But if I go insert pictures and I get to that picture that I want, that I just did, this is the one. I have that picture here. Another option is once you've downloaded the image to just... Uh, click on this and drag it into your word and we'll do the same thing so whatever you prefer either way it's gonna have the same result so if we go back to insert we can insert shapes I'm just gonna do a few shapes and um, you can see I'm skipping some things uh, I'm not gonna do everything because uh, most things here are not very used very often I'm just going over the key things that you will probably use so shapes you have a bunch of shapes here say I want to put in a smiley face I can make it bigger or smaller. I can, you know, make it really, really long or really, really tall. And I can even change the smile so I can make it a sad face if I want. So let's say I want to put in an arrow. That's pretty common. So I click on it and you can see my mouse changed. I can drag and make it however I would like. And I can still change it after that. So I can change this, how uh, kind of big the point is. So if I want a really big point, it just become a triangle pretty much. And then I can also change how how narrow the uh, bottom is. So now it kind of looks like a tree. So if I rotate it, that's how you rotate with this arrow button here. And now it looks like a tree. But once you have your shapes, you can actually um, get this thing here called format. And the format is comes up and you can change the shape fill. So say I want to make it look like a tree. Make it green. The outline, I'll make it light, slightly darker shade of green. So next thing is the text box. So in Word, it's not used as much as in Excel and in PowerPoint because in most of it is just words. But if you don't want to insert a text box for whatever reason, it um, you can basically just say, this is my text box. And this box can be moved anywhere you want, uh, anywhere on the page. Another useful thing is the signature line. So you click on it. So suggested sign signer. So say John Doe, because that's a pretty easy name. The title. Let's just go with the suggestions manager. Email address. Uh, I'm not going to put anything. 
and you can do sign date and click OK and it'll basically generate this little uh, signing area that you can sign. So you supposed to print it out and then you can sign it. The last two things in the insert tab are the equations. So you click on equation and you get all this map here that you can use to type. So if I click in this box, I can use uh, this all this exponents, things like that, integral, anything you want really to type in any uh, equations. And the final thing is the symbols. So if you click on this, you get all these little symbols. So say I have like simplex and then I want to do like copyright. So you have to do the copyright um, and you can move the simplex to here. I use the control X and control V to cut cut and paste it. So you can see I have the little copyright symbol there. And I can click on more symbols and I have a lot of symbols here. So now we're going to move on to the design tab. So again, this is basically the exact same thing that we saw here. Um, and so we're just going to disregard all of this. And we're just going to focus on these three things. So watermark, you know, if you want to make it confidential, have a confidential watermark on the background. Or it could be like do not copy. Or you can even create your own, say like a sample or something like that. And you can change the font and everything like that. Page color, the entire page, what color the page is. And as for the rest, um, it's not really used as much. The layout is just using the spacing, but it's easiest to use spacing with these three buttons here. References and mailings, you probably will never use, uh, unless uh, you're doing something really specific where you would need that. Review has a few features that are very, very useful. Um, it's a uh, this this here is spelling and grammar check uh, spelling and grammar so I say I have a word that's not spelled correctly so you can already see there's a little line here and if I right click it's gonna suggest but if say if I miss that I can click on the spelling and grammar and it's gonna give me a suggestion you can also get a thesaurus and then word count it just gives me the number of words I have in the document under view you don't really need to worry about this because usually it'll just be in the default view and then under help, you have feedback, contact, and help, and stuff like that. And something useful here is Microsoft actually provides training for you to learn Microsoft Word. And if you want to save, you click on this little thing here. You click on save. And you will basically choose a location in your computer. Let's click on browse. And um, I can click on save. So yeah, that's about it for Microsoft Word. You've uh, successfully learned the basic. Stay tuned for uh, tutorials on PowerPoint and Excel, because if you've bought um, the whole Microsoft Office package, you would have got all three softwares. So those two videos will be coming out soon. Hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.